Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Now today I'm going to share with you the professional secrets to give you perfect pedis every time. If you want to take your feet from stomach churning to sandal worthy, then stay tuned. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos three times a week. Now just a warning for you, if you are freaked out by feet, turned off by toes and not a fan of phalanges, then I would turn off now because there are graphic close-up images of my feet. Now, I do not have pretty feet, but then most people that I've spoken to in my line of work, they didn't like their feet either. So here we go. Now, before I get to the five secrets that I'm going to share with you, I do want to share two little confidence builders with you first. Now, I learned a few bits and pieces about feet during my time as a professional nail tech, and it certainly made me feel better about my own, which I absolutely hated. The first one is, everybody hates their feet. Your feet are not as bad as you think they are. You think your feet are hideous, other people don't notice. And even if your feet are in need of some attention, don't worry about it. The difference that a really good pedi can make is unbelievable. They do not look like the same feet again. And the second confidence builder I want to share is that in my time as a professional nail tech in my salon, every single woman, and I mean every single woman, had hairy feet. It might have just been a hairy toe or two, or all of the toes were hairy, or a hairy top of the foot, but every single woman had hairy feet, and I discovered it's normal. So these women either wax, pluck, shave, or left them natural, so do not be fearful about your hairy feet. And finally, just before I do tell you how to give yourself a perfect pedi at home, I do want to let you know that this is not a sponsored video, all the products that I've used in the video, I've purchased myself, except for the All That Jazz base coat, which was sent as a press sample. And as far as I can recall, everything else I've purchased. And all the products are linked in the description down below if you do want to purchase anything. So let's get started. I've deliberately left my feet for probably about two months without touching them for this video, just so you could get an idea of how the skin does naturally build up wearing heels and ballet shoes and things like that. And you can see I've got a discoloured skin build up on my large toe and around the ball of my foot and again around the heel. Now the first secret is exfoliating and removing the dead skin. This can be difficult with over-the-counter products. This microplane foot file that I'm showing you here is actually a professionally only product, but there is a link in the description of where you can purchase it. With it being a professional only product, it performs absolutely amazingly. However, you do need to follow the instructions very religiously so that you don't cause any damage. I'll also put a direct link in the description to the website detailing the contraindications for this product. And with this close up, you can see just how much of that ridge of hard skin has been removed. It really is fantastic. In fact, there has never been a product that I have used as a consumer or as a professional that has ever beaten the microplane foot file. Once you've removed all that hard skin with the microplane file, you can sometimes be left with a bit of a ridge. It doesn't feel very smooth. For this, I like to use the Shoal Velvet Smooth Express Pedi Electronic Foot File. It's not, in my opinion, good enough to remove really built up hard skin without going day after day. But if, like me, you've left it quite a while and you want to give your feet a complete makeover, use the microplane foot file first to remove the bulk of the hard skin, and then go in with the Shoal Velvet Smooth to really smooth off the areas and blend it in and soften it. If you don't have areas of really hard, built up dry skin, and your feet just feel a little bit dry and rough, then in actual fact the Shoal Velvet Smooth Electronic Foot File would be enough on its own. As you can see here, it's really easy to manipulate it. I even used it on the back of my heel where my shoes had made that back of the heel a bit dry. And underneath in the funny little bits that are difficult to get to with a file. Now it's time to file your nails to shape. As you can see, all this so far has been done on dry feet and that's because these products work best on dry skin. The secret to good filing and getting your toes into good shape is to use a 240 grit file. That's the maximum roughness you should use on a natural nail. And I use a fresh file on toenails because they can be a little bit harder. File the nails straight across and try to keep them as short as possible. This is to help prevent ingrowing toenails. If you have a good quality 240 file, it's absolutely fine to go back and forth with the nail file. Another secret to a professional looking pedi is removing those cuticles. 
My two products I could not live without for fingers and toes are my Me Has Pusher and Curette and also my toenail cleaner and I'm going to show you how to use these. An alternative to both if you don't want to purchase those at the moment are just plain and simple orange wood sticks. We're going to begin the cuticle work once we've washed our feet and given them a little soak after filing our toenails and removing the dry skin. We're going to use our curette to very gently push our cuticle down towards the base of the nail. Now cuticle is not that layer of skin around the bottom of the nail, it's actually the dry skin that sticks to the nail as it grows out, which you can see I'm just getting some of it off on my curette here, like a white sort of fluffy skin. If you don't have a professional curette, then an alternative is an orange wood stick, and again, use this gently, as you can see I am here, just to push that cuticle which is stuck to the nail off. Again, this is not that layer or ridge of skin that is around the bottom of the nail, that is your eponychium and that must not be pushed or cut in any way. When I remove the cuticles on my fingers and toes, I always start with my Mihez curette, as you can see here, and that is just to loosen the skin that's attached to the nail, otherwise known as cuticle, off. When using any tools on the nail, be exceptionally careful not to push too hard down on that ridge of skin at the bottom of the nail. Next I go in with my flat headed tool and this is just to scoop off that skin that's been released by the Mihaz curette and as you can see here it's really really effective even when you think you've got quite a bit off with your curette there's a lot more still to get. This is what can make nail polish look messy at the bottom of the nail and also causes your nail polish to lift and chip a lot earlier. That's why it's so important to get all the cuticle off the nail before you actually polish. Once you've done your cuticle work, it's time to cleanse the nails. I'm using a pad soaked with pure acetone, but you can use nail polish remover if you prefer. And then we're going to apply some toe separators. Again, there's links in the description to all the products that I use in this video. Now we're going to apply our base coat. This is an important step that really shouldn't be missed, especially with toes, because it can stop your toenails getting discoloured by your nail polish and also makes the nail polish last a lot longer without chipping. Every professional knows the importance of base coat and never skips it. It can be difficult to do a neat job of painting your toenails and I do tend to make a lot of mistakes, but don't worry if you do. Simply take a chisel brush like this one, either soaked in nail polish remover or pure acetone and just tidy up around the nail after each coat. This is a professional secret for getting that flawless finish. Apply base coat to all 10 nails, nice and carefully. This does also help to fill in any ridges and gives a nice smooth effect when you apply your nail polish. If you have very small toenails or struggle applying the polish from bottom to top, then simply just apply sideways across the nail and you might find that a little easier. Now it's time to apply your colour. A few tricks for getting a really good professional looking finish. Hold your toe in place and find a comfortable place to rest your foot where you can still reach your toe, which I find a little bit difficult and then nice and slow and steady apply your colour. Again, don't worry if you make any mistakes, you can just use a chisel brush dipped in acetone or polish remover to remove any mistakes off the skin. Once the polish is touched dry, apply a second coat to all 10 toenails, exactly the same way that you applied your first coat. Get that professional crisp look with your polish by tidying up any areas with a brush dipped in nail polish remover or pure acetone. Finish off your polish with a generous slick of top coat and this will give that super shiny professional look as well as making it last longer and just look so glossy. Once your polish is dry, we're on to that final stage which is the secret to those perfect looking peddies. But first we're going to carefully remove those toe separators just in case any of the polish hasn't quite dried. And even without the final stage, you can see what a difference it makes just a really good peddy on your feet. The final professional secret for those perfect peddies is to use a really good quality foot moisturiser regularly. This one I'm using is the Bliss Foot Patrol and it's an AHA exfoliating and softening cream. 
AHAs are alpha hydroxy acids and they help to remove the buildup of dead skin cells and that means basically if you use a cream like this regularly you shouldn't end up with your feet looking really really horrendous with lots of dry skin. Apply to the whole foot paying special attention to the areas that were particularly dry with build up before like the toe, balls of the foot and the heels and ankle. And here you can see what a difference that professional style pedi has made. It doesn't look like the same foot and the camera doesn't even pick up the difference in how soft my foot feels now. So just remember your five professional secrets for flip flop ready feet are a professional exfoliation, professional style filing, professional cuticle work, a good professional polish application and finally a really good home care routine. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe for videos three times a week.